What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the all-time greats. Now these players can be unlocked or open, depending on what way you want to say it, with nominating contracts. You can get a load of these nominating contracts with uh, the match pass and with rewards and doing campaigns and stuff. As you can see here, they range from five stars to three stars, and there's a couple of four star guys there as well with Elderworld and Mothang there as well. So yeah, there are a couple of nice players in here. We're going to go over to eFootball DB and see their max rating, and then we're also going to have just a couple of talking points about them, and maybe have one or two uh, recommendations if you are going to be signing because they are a good way to strengthen your team for free if you are continuing to play free to play. So. As you can see here with the match pass lads, so the regular, the free match pass that everyone has, you can get the players of the month and you can get these nominating contracts as well. So you can get any of these that you see here, uh, whichever ones that you want. Once you get this contract, this nominating contract, depending on whether it's a three star, four star, or five star, you can get anyone that is under or in the nominating contract uh, categories. So there's a free one here with a four star uh, free one with the free. There's a three star one. And obviously with the premium and the value, you get these stacked. So if you have the value pack, as I have here, when you hit level 10, you will get two four star. And you, if you have the premium one as well, if you have all these, you will get a two, two four stars and a three star all the way up. There's a five star here with the value and the regular. So you're going to be able to get a five star here, which enables you to get any of these players that you're seeing here. Um, and then also on top of that as well, you will have, I think it's one more each. You get your coins. Yeah, there's a five star here with the premium and another five star here with the premium as well. And then the rest are coins as far as I know. I thought there was one more. Yeah, so it is just with the premium that you get more five stars. So if you are interested in that, I will be doing a video on the match pass, whether I think it's it's, it's worth buying or not. And uh, yeah, it will be a fairly interesting video. But anyway, back to the nominating contracts here that we're going to be looking at. All right, lads, so here are the full list of nominating players, the all-time greats, as you see there. And straight away, you're obviously going to be drawn to Thomas Muller. You're going to be drawn to Busquets. Uh, depending on, you know, where you need to strengthen your team, I would say that you've got two top-class goalkeepers in there as well. Now, we know that Oliver Kahn is in the eFootball Point shop at the moment, and I think it's very hard to look past him. But let me tell you something, lads, right? I think this guy, Jan Sommer is definitely one of the best keepers in the game, potentially one of the best, you know, top five keepers, right? And I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Firstly, even though he's a bit small, right, he is only 183 centimeters, and you compare him with the likes of Courtois or Donnarumma, who are, you know, giants in goal, but this guy's got incredible jumping when you level him up, and we're going to show you his full stats at the end. The one, the number one stat that you need to focus on for a goalkeeper, if you guys are struggling, look, you're going to concede goals. There's no point in saying that you won't. You'll concede stupid goals. You'll concede rebounds. You'll concede, you know, where the keepers flap. Obviously, the game is just, um, is going to, you know, you are going to concede goals. The game is, is going to not make your goalkeeper superhuman. Obviously, you know, in V2.2, um, you need to be very good at manual goalkeeping as well because the keepers don't really come off their line, uh, you know, and shoot out and do manual Neuer uh, type kind of like interceptions or anything like that. And they can get a little bit confused. So you do need to have reflexes. The only thing you need your goalie to be able to do is to save the ball and put it in, into a, a less dangerous area than into the box and to be able to get point blank shots saved as well. And the reflexes do help that. So when we actually do go over to eFootballDB.com and we take a look at both of these goalies, you will see that Sommer here has got incredible stats, lads. He's 24 levels, 46 progression points, 91 awareness, 86 catching, 88 clearing, and 94 reflexes, along with 88 jump. Now, all these players in this all-time greats uh, in November, they do have the 90 team play style. So he can play in any formation, any tactics. It doesn't matter if you've you know trained up your, your team to have a manager that plays out wide or long ball counter or possession, whichever, it doesn't matter. This guy is unbelievable, like absolutely unbelievable. The reflexes that you see there is incredible. Now, similarly, we've got Navas, right? Kaylor Navas, who is obviously the backup to Donnarumma at PSG. He's only got 17 levels to go, 32 progression points, but again, an incredible keeper. Very similar kind of keeper, yeah, you know, to Summer, both kind of around the same height. Obviously, what he lacks in uh, jump, he makes up for in reach just a little bit there. But yeah, I definitely think Sommer is probably one of the best keepers that you could buy. His standard version is insane as it is. And then on top of that, you've got unwavering form. Navas does have unwavering form as well. But if I had to pick a keeper out of this and you don't want to spend 500000 or around that on 
Donnarumma or you know one of the big boys such as Courtois or somebody like that and you don't want to get Can, I definitely definitely highly recommend Summer he's absolutely incredible his stats are immense all right next up we have Muller Muller gets a bad rep because he's he's obviously not fast enough lads to have I think in your your main squad but he does have really good player skills you can see there he's got everything that you could possibly want I would play him as an AMF I would probably play him in the totty role you know that kind of totty-ish role uh, where he can just you know you're not going to be scoring bangers with him all the time but he is able to finesse shoot he is able to kind of do intricate passing the one thing about Muller lads from playing with him he is unbelievable with the movement going forward with the ball and with the way that 2.2 is playing at the moment it's all about offensive awareness they've really upped that with the players that they make incredible runs because let's be honest most people have trained their players to just be really you know fast and uh kind of like dribbling or whatever like that if they want that maybe just like speed more than anything but now the the meta i think kind of seems to be offensive awareness and first touch we will have a video on that but yeah again you you know what you're getting with muller he's going to be a good player to have you can play him right wing right mid attacking or ss and he's got fairly good stats let down i think by his balance i think that should definitely be higher but the rest of his stats are quite solid we have also got him maxed out here uh, on eFootball DB, you can see 94, you know, really good stats, lads, really nice stats, as you see there. Just the issue with the balance and the stamina, that's kind of a slight concern. We also have Sergio Busquets. He's got a similar issue with the balance and the stamina, no matter how you kind of train him up, because you, you're look, you're not going to get them players fast. There's no point. Like, even if you were to pump every single thing into speed for Busquets, because his passing isn't too bad. Like, if you were to just pump everything into speed, you're only going to get it maxed out at 75. If you were to put it into dexterity, well, you'll get it maxed out at 78. But if you're to put it into acceleration, you're only going to get it to 80. So I would definitely recommend putting his passing up as high as you can go, maybe like 95, and then putting his defending up to maybe 92, and then just kind of deal with the rest of it with, with whatever way you want to train him up. Because, you know, you do need a couple of like uh, first-time touches as well. But definitely as a 94, he does have unwavering form. He's got a lot of nice player skills. So yeah, if you are looking for a DMF, that's not just kind of like... Um, kind of a blocker like Makalele or a stopper this guy can play kind of like Pirlo where he's just spraying passes around if you're able to do stunning passes and stuff and switch to play if you're playing out wide he is he is really good next up we've got a bit of a unique choice with Gomez obviously playing for Argentina at the moment they had a disaster of an opening game against Saudi Arabia but they will be back hopefully for the tournament's sake it would be pity to see Messi go out in the group stage but they were very poor but yeah this guy's got a really nice blend of skills and a blend of stats his offensive awareness is isn't too much of a concern as an amf obviously i would prefer somebody like pedri but if you have got this five star contract and you just want to you just want to use it you just want to have somebody different you could go worse than uh, a choice on gomez right uh he's got you know 85 acceleration is not too bad 88 balance ball control dribble and tight possession low pass all really good and he's got curl as well as early cross and pinpoint cross and as his player skills and his playing style and then he's got a load of other tricks and uh, skills up his sleeve as well We've also got AU. Won't spend too much time on this guy, lads. Uh, he's just, yeah, he's not going to be. He's not going to be somebody that I think is. Uh, he's not going to be somebody that really sets set the place on fire, really for. Uh, for your dream team because as a four star yeah you can get him you know with a four star and you probably have a load of them flying around but yeah his finishing his speed and acceleration are just not enough to lead the line um similarly we've got Moteng here he's got the same issues his finishing is you know just just 80 and again he's a very mid now he is on a form but he's a very mid tier striker Jao Matinho is an interesting choice as well we do have Jao Matinho here and you can see that his base card over here in a second um uh, is quite decent we have got the player skills he does have unwavering form way to pass true pass uh one touch pass outside curler low lofted pass and he also has long ball expert so when we do max him out we do have him with 54 progression points which you can throw into anything that you wish and again he's not a bad player lads you know he's got some fairly decent stats very similar to a lot of center midfielders obviously let down by his speed and acceleration but any of these players that are really good passers you know you're talking about uh Moutinho, you're talking about gomez and you're talking about busquets just kind of have them in their role you know there's no point turning busquets into a speed demon because you'll spend too much points we also have Fajar here as well, or Fajir. 
uh, Fajar, I think his name is pronounced. But yeah, you can see there as a center mid, when we max him out here, you're not going to have the pace. Like if you boost up all that into pace, you're still only going to get him to 80 and like 75, 73. So there's no point. So just pump up his speed a little bit just so that he's not, you know, dragging you down around the pitch. Pump that up maybe to 65 and 72 for the acceleration. And then you're just going to be really boosting what he's good at, you know, getting that passing up. And then obviously the rest of the stuff that you could do there. If you wanted to turn him a little bit more defensive, you could pump a few into that as well but i wouldn't really recommend him uh the moroccan man uh, yeah i just wouldn't really recommend him there's so many there save your four star contract for somebody else and yeah we do have bale and uh tadic as well that we will do but they're part of the match pass so we'll get to them in a, in a future video but we do have caceres there's who else is there there's caceres and yeah i think that's it caceres and alder alderweireld as well that are there again they're very fucking very decent players um he's got blocker and interception with his which is quite decent he only has 20 levels to go definitely worth a look but he does have he doesn't have unwavering form so that's a bit of an issue and then martin caceres as well he doesn't have unwavering form either he doesn't have that many player skills he doesn't even have intercept interception or blocker his defensive awareness and acceleration are quite poor alderveld is not too bad he's got fairly decent defensive stats that go into the 90s for defensive awareness but the other stats are going to be a concern if you don't have... If you're playing four at the back now, lads, you need to have two well-balanced uh, centre-backs, such as like Alaba or Koulibaly or Van Dijk or somebody like that. And whatever weakness they have... So if Van Dijk is, you know, slow, you need to have somebody like Koundé or Alaba that's able to get around the pitch. If you've got Alaba, you need to have somebody that's able to win an aerial battle. So, yeah, you do need to mix and match it. If you've got five at the back, you can kind of get away with having two brilliant defenders and one fast one. But, yeah um that is it lads we will be back quite soon that is it for the all-time greats let me know if you sign any of these uh and let me know if you're going to be getting the match pass to get more contracts but yeah this is open for a good while so i think there's like 22 days left in it so they'll be there until then we will have the player of the month up as well as the american league quite soon but until next time lads peace